One key reason for Bolivia's failure to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic is corruption on a massive scale. In May, money which was destined for the purchase of crucial COVID-19 ventilators was lost through one of the most well-known forms of corruption in Bolivia, overpricing. This is where the state makes a purchase but pays more than the cost of what's being bought. And if no one finds out, that money is being pocketed by those who made the purchase. Bolivia's regime paid $4.7 million for 170 ventilators, but the company they bought it from said that the cost was only $1.4 million. The regime officials who made the purchase took the difference. This exact same scam has now happened once again with the purchase of COVID-19 tests. The Bolivian regime bought 22.8 million Bolivianos worth of tests from an Uruguayan company, but 47.3 million was paid by the state. The deal was set up by an intermediary company, Lassa Holdings, which is a Miami company which seemingly took the missing 25 million. This COVID corruption is taking place just as the regime is calling on the legislature to accept more IMF loans, supposedly to tackle COVID-19. But should Bolivia be taking out loans with strings attached when that money is just going to end up being stolen? Mass lawmakers in Congress have rightly rejected the regime's request for IMF loans because IMF loans are a way of selling the state to foreign creditors who then demand privatization and austerity when they don't receive pay. The regime is leaving power on the 18th of October. They're third in the polls. They will lose, and it's important that they don't leave the next government with crushing debt to U.S. institutions like the IMF. Most of all, it's urgent that the regime stop stealing the money for COVID-19, money which ought to be used to help the public hospitals, which have been left to collapse with horrifying consequences for the population.